Joining me now by Skype from the Heritage Foundation is Senior Legal Fellow Hans von Spakovsky. Hans, welcome back to our broadcast. Thanks for having me back. You join Vice President Pence and many Republicans who say this is a complete vindication for the president and a victory against his detractors. Why? Well, because after two years of a very wide-ranging, thorough investigation, uh, the special counsel says there was no collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russian government. And look, the critics of the president can't in any way claim this wasn't a thorough investigation. In fact, uh, William Barr summarized the extent to, to which uh, Mueller went. They have interviewed 500 different witnesses, served almost 3,000 subpoenas and 500 search warrants to get information and documents on this, and at the end of that said, there was no evidence of any collusion. Well, I have the attorney general's memo here dated yesterday. Right. Democrats are saying not so fast, and they're pointing to this summary and special counsel Mueller's statement regarding possible obstruction of justice. And it says, right. quote, while this report does not conclude the president committed a crime, it also does not exonerate him. So as a former Justice Department lawyer, Hans, what do you make of this open-ended finding? Well, I think the Democrats are just uh, whistling past the graveyard, if I can use an expression, if they think anything is going to come out of that. Look, there's a lot of, of legal debate over whether a president can even be charged with obstruction of justice, since he is actually the chief law enforcement official under the Constitution, makes the final decision. Mueller obviously didn't want to get into that, so he's just simply laid out the facts on both sides of this issue. William Barr looked at that, consulted with other senior officials, and said, there isn't any evidence of obstruction of justice. And the key thing, for I think, for folks to remember is this. It's pretty tough to claim there was obstruction of justice when there was no underlying crime, and therefore, there wasn't anything to obstruct. If Democrats think they're going to be able to make something of that, they're going to be sadly mistaken. How do you think the calls for these additional investigations are going to be received by the American people? Well, I do think that a lot of people see what happened. And, and let's, let's be very plain. The, the claims of Russian collusion turned out to be a hoax. And what does need to be investigated is uh, how, was, how and why was this investigation opened by the FBI and the Justice Department when they actually had no credible evidence that any kind of collusion had occurred? Did they abuse their power? Did they abuse the FISA, the FISA statute to get electronic surveillance of an opposition political uh, campaign. So what happens now to the evidence in this report related to Russian interference? Well, remember, there are still outstanding indictments that have not uh, come to completion yet. Remember, uh, Mueller indicted a number of Russian military agents and other officials for trying to um, uh, interfere in the election through social media platforms and for hacking into the DNC uh, computers and those of, of Hillary Clinton. Important to keep in mind, the report says that uh, no one in the uh, Trump campaign, in fact, no Americans, uh, in any way participated in that event. Hans von Spakovsky, Senior Legal Fellow at the Heritage Foundation, thank you for joining us. So thanks for having me.